Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Soga video. So it's Friday and you know what that means, we have yet another Galactic Challenge to take on. First I want to give a shout out to my latest Patreon, Jimbo, thank you so much for your support, it's really appreciated. Now this time CG has taken us to the planet of Coruscant, so the home world uh, of the Republic. And fun enough, we do have to face a squad of Galactic Republic. And, you know, to get all the feats, you do have to use the Empire team. So in this video, uh, I will show you a couple battles here that I used with a full Empire squad uh, that completes uh, the feat, as well as the feat where you have to use the undersized squad as well. Um, so if you're interested in battles, you just want to skip through, go ahead. But first, you know, as always, I'll cover some of the mechanics here of the events and modifiers, as well as show you the mods of my teams that I used uh, and how they interact. So now let's just get into it. So, for uh, this week, uh, you know, it's Friday, and yeah, this means you need to have Best Carmanda to get the Red Crate again, as every Friday. Now, this is the last one in uh, January, so we'll see if they release a schedule for February, if we will have this continuation trend that, you know, every Friday there'll be some special feed that you have to have a specific character that, uh, you know, will limit you a bit to get max rewards. We'll see. Anyway... Now we got other feats here, you have to obviously complete the battle, complete the battle with a full team of Empire units. Uh, so for this feat uh, I use Palpatine lead with Thrawn, uh, Vader, Shore Trooper, and then a fifth character really of your choice. Uh, I've tried it with Tarkin, it worked, uh, but uh, then in the end actually Imperial Probe Droid, if you do have Zeta on him, he's a really good character right to use. If you don't, Tarkin was fine as well, you know, didn't have issues completing at all. So you've got those four guys that are the core, and the fifth one is, you know, whatever you have available um, in the slot. And then obviously you need to complete uh, the battle with an undersized squad, and for these I use Treya, Nihilus, uh, Throne, and Sith Empire Trooper. So those are the teams that I used, and the team we're going up against here is a Padme team with uh, Anakin, Ahsoka, Mace Windu, and General Kenobi. So as you know, Padme is very tricky um, because you could potentially maybe use Imperial Troopers, but as we know, Imperial Troopers are all about assists, attacks out of turn, and this will feed protection up to Padme, so that won't work. Now luckily, there is no free PO in their team, so Palpatine works really well then, uh, because if they would have free PO in there, they would get protection up, and once they have protection up under Padme lead, you can't apply debuffs on them, and Palpatine train feeds on debuffs. Uh, so no free PO, Palpatine will run circles around these guys. Alright, so these are kind of the feats and the teams. Now, looking at the modifiers here, we got a Power Struggle Global Modifier. And essentially, um, this modifier allows you to win by only taking out uh, the leader. However, if the enemy takes out your leader, you will lose. Um, so it's, uh, but you know, it's not a straightforward because Kenobi keeps taunting, right? Every time somebody loses protection up, so it's it's hard to get through to Padme. Plus, these guys are very tanky here at tier seven. So taking just go ahead uh, with take Padme out is not a straightforward thing. Uh, now modifiers here. Generally, the um, modifiers for Empire is brilliant. Uh, however, here because you know Imperial troopers don't really uh, work here against Padme that well. Um, you won't really be able to make full use um, of the modifier that you get, and that is every time, um, and as long as the leader is alive, every time an Imperial Trooper is uh, defeated, they'll be revived. Um, so obviously we'll just be using one uh, um, Imperial Trooper here, so the, one, the other won't benefit. And as well as uh, uh, any time leader uses a special ability, everybody are called to assist. Again, assists are not your friend versus Padme, so while I really love this, um, modifier for the Empire is really fun, really good to use against Padme and this specific team, it's not going to be all that useful. Now the modifier for Galactic Republic on the other hand <laughs> is a very tricky one uh, because uh, anytime you do uh, damage to them they will uh, reflect that the damage back onto you. Um, so obviously <laughs> uh, you're doing lots of attacks especially with Vader so his health will be low now, luckily, uh, this damage can't uh, defeat your guys. So, you know, they'll be on one health, but they will still keep going. Uh, but because of the Palpatine train, you know, you'll be able to hang in there. Um, so, you know, this modifier, while it does sound a bit scary at first, um, you know, it doesn't really cause much issues there. 
Alright, so we kind of the event overview out of the way. Uh, let me first show you now the first team and just talk you through how it works. So obviously got Palpatine here in the lead. Now mine's at Relic 7. I have him modded for a little bit of speed. So he's a 244 uh, and as well as potency. So hopefully we'll be able to land some stuns when they do not have protection up. Now just quickly look at Palpatine's lead here and why it works so well. You probably know it already, but in case you don't. So every time an Empire ally inflicts a debuff, uh, they'll be gaining 20% turn meter and whenever a Sith ally inflicts a debuff they'll recover 20% health which you know Vader he'll be taking lots of turns and remember the modifier for the Galactic Republic he will keep getting hit back all the damage that he will be doing uh, but you know he'll be getting lots of turn meter because he's Empire and he'll be recovering health uh, because he's Sith and finally probably the most important thing of uh, leadership is that when a debuff on enemy expires Empire and Sith allies gain 5% turn meter. So this is kind of, you know, the turn meter train here that Palpatine will be able to get going because there's no free PO on the other team. Up next, uh, my Vader here is at Relic 6 and he's modded for damage, critical chance, some speed. So he's at 255. I also have some potency on him again so he can uh, land those debuffs hopefully for me. And his offense is right there. And finally, he's unique, no escape, he's getting extra speed for each Empire, Sith, Ally, and each Jedi and uh, Rebel enemy. So we'll be getting lots of bonus speed here, so he'll be able to go pretty quick in the battle. And finally, you know, it's also good, good this one, that he'll be recovering 5% health whenever damage over time expires. So again, Vader, even though he'll be doing lots of hits, you know, there's a lot of health recovery through his own unique and through Palpatine's lead. So he'll be able to hang around. Then up next, got a Relic 5 here on Throne, uh, just heavy modded for speed really. Uh, so he's a 305 and obviously he's there to fracture Kenobi so we can then work on the other guys. And then a Short Trooper here, now mine's gear 12 but you know, it proved more than enough here. I just have him loaded with protection there. And you really do need a pre-taunting tank I think in here because Padme, uh, you know, he's, she's very quick. So she will, um, you know, do her kick that can stun somebody and take somebody out. And you do need this uh, short trooper there to take that initial hit from Padme so that none of your guys get stunned because her stun can't be cleansed. Uh, so you definitely, I think you do need a short trooper in here for the pre-taunt. And if he gets taken out uh, because of the modifier here for the uh, Imperial troopers, he'll be able, he'll just get revived back up. So that's not a problem. Then for the fifth slot here, uh, initially I tried Tarkin, that worked as well, but then I remembered I do have Zeta on my Imperial Probe Droid, uh, because what Zeta adds is uh, the target locked enemies can't gain buffs. So when Imperial Probe Droid gets a turn, uh, he will dispel buffs, apply um, a target lock on them, and then this target lock adds as a buff immunity, so they won't be able to gain critical damage immunity from Kenobi's Unique, as well as any protection up um, from Padme's Basic. So this is very important, so you'll be able to get some debuffs going without protection up and as well as, um, you know, you'll be able to a little bit control Kenobi there. So if you do have Zeta and Imperial Probe Droid, even at lower gear, um, let me show his mods, so his 237 works uh, really well. Maybe a few more potential good candidates for this fifth slot, you know, uh, aside from Imperial Probe Droid and Tarkin, could maybe be... Piet here, but as you can see, mine's low gear. Maybe Gideon as well, uh, but also maybe Death Trooper, you know, for his dispel, death mark, and things like that. Maybe that could work as well. But I just found because of the Zeta on Imperial Pro Droid, you know, it helped me really, really a lot here to make this very easy. All right, now let's jump into the battle and let me just talk you through it. All right, so there we go. So Padme used her kick first, and that's what you actually want, and that's why Short Trooper is there to take that initial kick. Now, sometimes Padme would use her basic, but her basic will apply protection up, and because once they get protection up, as mentioned before, you won't be able to apply debuffs on them. So if that happens, retreat and go back in. You want Padme's first move to be the kick. Now, sometimes if she'll keep using basic over and over again, even if you're treating a few times, then just maybe uh, reorder your characters, because this that will reset the RNG. I, ha I had to do this once uh, during testing. By the way, she used her kick, Short Trooper took it, that's absolutely fine. Now it's time to enter Merciless Massacre here with Vader and apply some debuffs. All right, and what you want to do now is just kind of go around here, uh, apply ability blocks on everybody. There we go. 
There we go. And the reason why I want ability blocks on everybody, including Mace Windu, is because uh, if any of the, these guys use their special ability, uh, Ahsoka will be called to assist. So, you know, you want to limit their attacks. Alright, so now we can just uh, go ahead and uh, do another Force Crash here, apply more debuffs, and let's throw the Culling Blade here, and this now fueled turn meter to everybody. And uh, this is where Imperial Probe Droid can go ahead, dispel, uh, gets target locked uh, on a few people, while well, unfortunately didn't get it uh, over there on Anakin. But anyway, uh, here what I like to do is actually um, swap with Short Trooper just to top him up a bit because, you know, his um, taunt will be useful. Now, remember, whenever a leader here, so Palpatine in this case, uses special abilities, everybody will be called to assist. So you do not want to target Padme or any of these guys because then they will get protection up, okay? So when you do now AoE here, trying to get some stuns, make sure to target Kenobi because we'll fracture him in a moment anyway. So there you go, Kenobi got protection up there. If this would be anybody else, they will get protection up and while they have protection up, you cannot apply debuffs on them. All right, now, cool thing about here, um, the summoned uh, trooper that you get here, um, his basic has a chance to stun, so let's see if we can get a stun over on Padme. Because again, if Padme uses her basic, she will apply protection up on those that do not have target lock. So definitely try to stun there, uh, Padme. And now here with other guys, I uh, just want to go after Anakin here. Um, and then we can fracture here Kenobi. Now even though we need to take out Pad only Padme to win this battle, <laughs> and really, until you take out Anakin, it's going to be hard to take Padme out, right? Because he'll be gaining bonus turns and everything. Um, so I'll just keep attacking now here um, Anakin. So as you can see, the health here <laughs> is very, very low uh, on Vader. So i just do another here, hit over on Anakin. Um, okay, let's see if we can get a stun here on, on Mace as well. Excellent. Come on, Annie, go down. Let's do another Merciless Massacre here. Uh, come on, this should take him out. There we go. Okay, so let's do another Force Crash now. Uh, just go around again, applying Ability Blocks. And then let's throw Culling Blade over at Kenobi here. And you know what, let's just have, let's see if we can get an Ability Block over on Kenobi. So as you can see, <laughs> we are very low on health. There we go, so we get a stun, and our short trooper can heal back up, get his taunt again. Let's see if we can apply shock over on Kenobi so he doesn't taunt. So now with Kenobi shock there, um, we can just, you know, keep going after Padme here. Uh, okay, let's do another force crash. There we go. Let's see if we can land ability block over on Padme. No ability block. Again, uh, let's do, um, again here, AoE targeting Kenobi. So the others don't get protection up. Here we can go actually go ahead and swap Termiter here with Vader, so he gets to go again. Uh, let's see if we can actually take out here Ahsoka. There we go. More. Another Merciless Massacre here. See if we can get Ability Block on Padman. No Ability Block. Do another AoE here. Another Culling Blade. More Termiter. So you can see we are really running circles around Padme here. Let's do another Dispel. Get some Target Lock on the board. Shock on Kenobi, and now we can again turn our attention onto Padme here. Maybe get a stun, no stuns. Uh, do you know what? Let's again uh, fracture Kenobi so he doesn't interfere with us. There we go, ability block, excellent. Come on, Padme. There we go, basic, basic, basic. Come on, there we go. Come on. Let's get more debuffs out there. And that should do it. Alright, so let's do this again. Alright, so again, important. Padme has to start with a kick. And then Vader will go next. Enter Merciless Massacre. Alright, let's start now uh, applying here debuffs. Go around, do a round of ability blocks. Okay, so this time no ability block on Anakin. Let's see if we can ability block Padme. No ability block on Padme. No ability block over there as well. Okay, so we didn't get many ability blocks here. Let's see if this will affect our battle here. Again, let's hopefully land some target lock here on everybody. 
All right, let's swap here with Short Trooper. And because he resisted the stun, he can actually immediately now heal up everybody, get a turn. All right. Um, hmm. Well, let's see if we can get a maybe stun on Anakin there. Uh, no stuns. All right. Again, whenever you do AoE, just target Kenobi here so others don't get protection up. All right, so we can fracture Kenobi now. And we can just start working here on Anakin. All right. Let's see if we can land ability block on Maze there. Okay, good. Because his special attack can dispel, so he could dispel their uh, short troopers taunt here. Alright, just here we go. There you go. Already another Merciless Massacre. So really going through here quickly. Okay, so let's do another AoE here. Let's go around, maybe do a round of ability blocks here. Alright. And then just Culling Blade, I think, should take on Anakin here. Excellent. So there we go. More debuffs. Alright, and now just keep going after Padme. Let's see if we can maybe land the stun over on Ahsoka. No stuns. Alright. Come on. There we go. And another Merciless Massacre. That's how we do it. Um, let's see if we can actually land ability block over on Padme because we don't want her dispelling. Nah, didn't happen. Uh, do you know what? Let's take out Maze there to a Force Crush. There we go. So you can see, you know, all these debuffs and everything really fuel your guys. So we go another dispel here, more target lock hopefully. Um, let's see if we can actually swap turn meter here with Vader. Excellent. Uh, I'll just take out their Ahsoka. There we go. Because I wasn't sure will that Culling, bl culling Blade uh, take out Padme or not, because she's, as you can see, very tanky here. Um, so that's why I chose to kill off the others first. There we go. Uh, that should do it. So as you can see, this team works really well here. Alright, so a couple of battles here showing you Palpatine lead here with this team works really well. You've got lots of control with all the stuns and, you know, turn meter train you'll get going. So now for the third here and final battle, I actually want to show you the team that I used to undersize this event. Now, as you probably know, Treya counters uh, uh, Padme really well, so I'm going to use Treya here. Don't need Vader, we do need Nihilus for the Annihilate here, obviously need uh, as well as Thrawn for the Fracture. And then I will use a pre-taunting tank, uh, and in this case I will use my Sith Trooper here. So let me quickly show you my team. So I got uh, Treya here at Relic 3, and I have her modded for defense, uh, health, protection, a little bit of speed as well. And she's at Relic 3. Got Relic 3 Nihilus as well, and he's just modded for speed, so he's at 240. Now I've seen my throne already, he's Relic 5, and I have a speed on him, that's all, so he's at 305. And finally, got a Relic 1 here on a Sith Empire Trooper, and I just have him modded for defense, protection. He's there again like short trooper in the first battle, just to take that first hit from Padme, really. Alright, now it's finally time to go and battle Padme. Let's go! Alright, let's see what Padme will do first. Yeah, so there you go. Again, you need, if Padme doesn't use her kick ability, back out, change the order of your guys and go back in uh, until you get RNG that her first move is the kick, and that's what Sith Trooper was there for, to take that initial hit. Now this is like a standard here, really try a counter versus Padme swap turn meter here uh, with with uh, Tre um, Treya, and then you can go ahead uh, and isolate uh, Kenobi here. There we go. So we stop him from taunting. Then you can go ahead and fracture Padme, and I'll just start working towards our first annihilate here. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can put an ability block over into Anakin. Uh, no ability block, unfortunately. Uh, let's take away that buff over from Ahsoka. Alright. Now here, uh, Thrones Basic. Whoever's got ability block, Thrones Basic can stun. So let's go ahead and stun Anakin there. Alright. And you know what? Let's just put a hit over in Anakin as well. There we go. So let's, I guess, uh, increase cooldowns on everybody. And I think we should be up here for Annihilate here. Come on, and there we go. Let's just swap turn meter now with Nihilus. Uh, and remember, the global modifier, only thing you have to do is uh, take out Padme. So, kaboom! And that's a win with an undersized squad. 
All right, let's do this one more time, just to show you maybe a little bit different RNG. All right, so you can see Palma this time use her protection up ability, so you do want to back out and try again. Okay, so now we got a cake. There we go. And same as before, let's swap here now with Treya. Uh, now, normally when I do go um, Treya versus Padme, I would actually isolate Padme, not Kenobi. But in this case, because you only need to take out Padme, uh, I actually like to isolate Kenobi. There we go. And when you isolate, make sure to target Nihilus so that you uh, reduce his cooldowns. I'm going to go ahead and fracture Padme here. And get those cooldowns going. There we go. Okay, yeah. Uh, just put a hit over on Anakin there with Treya. And get those buffs over from Annie. Alright. Get a stun over Anakin there. Here we go. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll just put a hit over on Annie here. And there we go. We got Annihilate already. Because obviously it depends on that first... Uh, uh, force drain how how many guys you increase their cooldown so this time I got all of them five that's why it's already now available to use and as soon as I annihilate Padme this thing is over let's go and there you go that's how I completed the feats here in this galactic challenge uh, today obviously was not able to get a red crate this time because again I do not have uh, best command unlocked yet uh, still farming uh, IG-11 and Quill I don't have them at seven stars yet, so it'll still be a while before I do get. So hopefully in February, uh, they, this trend doesn't continue. I guess we'll have to wait and see until schedule is released. Now, obviously, these teams that I showed are not the, the only teams. Uh, I just tried to find some teams that work without a Galactic Legend uh, because you know probably the undersized is probably very easy. Supreme Leader Kaloran could probably solo this, probably even Ray. I don't know, but you know whenever I do this, I just try to. Uh, do it with a bit more accessible characters uh, to everyone just to show you that you know You don't need galactic legends to complete these feats uh, every time So anyway guys hope you find this useful uh, video and that you enjoyed it Let me know in my in my discord server or in the comments below But until then have fun enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends